this is a budget for transformation this is a budget of change it has announced many historic steps which will uh, transform india the first and foremost thing is that the fiscal deficit for the current year as well as for 2016-17 have been maintained 3.5% fiscal deficit target was under question in the public space and elsewhere the finance minister has maintained it it shows government's fiscal prudence and uh, very efficient uh, fiscal management so far as the priority areas of the budget are concerned great focus has been given to agriculture and rural sector these are the two major challenging areas which the government was facing so for agriculture huge investment in irrigation new irrigation schemes in rural sector also the allocation for important programs like nregs and various other rural related schemes complete rural electrification by may 2018 so if you see together lot of initiatives have been announced for agriculture and the rural sector coming to the infrastructure sector the total investment in the roads and railway sector is in the order of 2 lakh 18000 crore so just imagine the impact of 2 lakh 18000 crores of rupees being spent in 2016 17 the kind of economic spin off and the multiplier effect it will create in terms of giving a big boost to our growth is something which is to be seen and the government is committed to achieve that apart from that for the welfare of the people there are several schemes for example the lpg gas scheme for uh, poor women it will literally remove tears from the eyes of women because they don't have to sit in front of the chulas for a long time that's a very bold scheme then the insurance the health cover scheme which has been announced for again bpl households that also is a very uh, impactful announcement which has been made with regard to the structural reforms the most important announcement made by the finance minister is perhaps the reform of the transportation sector the passenger segment sector which has which is a totally unreformed sector this will provide better quality and more frequent public transport facilities road transport facilities to our passengers poor and the middle classes then there is the aadhar bill which will bring in targeted disbursement of government support and government subsidies without any leakage there won't be any transmission laws then there is the uh, what you call the dispute resolution bill with regard to the uh, ppp projects another major regulatory gap in the bankruptcy law was with regard to the resolution of the financial firms there also the finance minister has announced a new law which will be brought in so together with the bankruptcy law and the new law for resolution of financial firms we will have a very robust resolution mechanism in our economy to conclude this is a very balanced budget which has given due focus on infrastructure on rural spending on agriculture it has given due emphasis also to infrastructure areas like railways and roads irrigation and it has brought in many structural reform measures so if you package it together all these measures together will definitely have very positive transformative impact on our economy